Alright, hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of creating your very own custom Ace Attorney case. If you haven't seen the last part, I would recommend doing so. The card or link in the description will bring you to part 0, a 2 minute video featuring everything we can make in the series. Let's jump in with our part 1 project. Now, for some reason my microphone wasn't working when recording this, so I'm just gonna, luckily I have a transcript, like a script of what I wrote. So. We're going to finish off our character in the conversation completion. Currently we have two issues. Gumshoe fades away instantly, which you'll see in a minute. You see? He's just gone. And the text box stays even when he is left. That's not good. To fix this, we need to add another frame above this one. So to fix so to fix it, we added in this frame above. The first frame will be for the frayed, or our previous first frame, or the new frame will be for the text. Add gumshoe, set the pose to be confident, and add some text. <coughs> At the end of this, add a pause of 500 milliseconds. And remove the text from frame 8, because we don't, we don't want gumshoe to say anything there, come on. All right, it skips Gumshoe's fade, but also we need to click before it will move on with the fade. This is important, because we don't want that. <coughs> Friendly, we can move on to the next frame immediately. Oh, under the cog icon, look, there's an option in there. Make sure you select that, because then it will move on immediately. However, Gumshoe doesn't even fade, he just disappears. Why? Because it's r immediately getting rid of it, because there's nothing in the text box. So just add a pause of 500 milliseconds, you can write p.500 and click tab, or do it the normal way, and Gumshoe fades out. But the text box is still there, and only disappears when he's finished his fade out. <coughs> we want it dis to disappear while in this frame. So, you can add a frame action to toggle the, vis the visibility of the dialog box. You also want to stop Gumshoe's music from playing, so click at the start here, click on the music icon, and click stop. That will just stop the music. <coughs> A major part of investigations is finding evidence, so let's add some. Click on the court record. We can add evidence, or profiles. Let's add a piece of evidence. Here, we can make the evidence an image, or video. We can add a name, icon, display image when you check it, a description, and choose if we want it to be hidden, which we do, because we want to show it later. The choose button down here allows us to fill in evidence that we made before. Unless you made evidence before, it won't. none will be there though. So we need a place to get icons. Luckily there's a website for that. Type this into your browser, once it appears. Oh yeah, write a name and description for this too. And for the icon, it's just this website, courtrecords.net slash evidence.htm. This is from the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS version of the games, but they'll do, at least for now. <coughs> Note that these may contain spoilers if you have not played the game before, the first three games. So if you haven't done that, look away right now. I'll give you a link to it. Once you find an icon you like, right click, click copy image address. You can also hold and click and save photos on mobile devices. Hey, you can look back now. I found the best image, it's more of a broken wine bottle. You can copy the link on screen you see there, or oh, I'll just leave it in the description. You can see the icon there, it's pretty good. It's broken though. So we'll need to update the name and description to be Broken Wine Bottle and the description to be A Broken Wine Bottle or something similar to that. <coughs> okay, now it's time to add the evidence. Add an examine for anywhere on this wall. As you see highlighted in red pretty much anywhere there where you want it to be discovered. 
I'm just going to add it up there and give it a name of broken wine bottle. Add a frame where Phoenix says something, then a frame for it being added to the court record. I'm also going to select broken wine bottle and just make it red, just for a bit of an extra effect. <coughs> now add this frame and just say broken wine bottle added to the court record. And just for an example, I'm going to add gumshoe to this frame, just to show you something. Because normally when adding evidence to the court record, there is no nameplate. The nameplate is where it says the character's name on the dialog box. But if we leave custom name blank, Gumshoe's name will appear. Luckily, you can just put a full stop here to hide the nameplate, where it says custom name, which I'll do in a minute here. Remember to also tick no talking animation for that frame. That's important, we don't want Gumshoe to tell us that it was added to the court record. It might be a little bit creepy. And Phoenix is speaking a bit quickly. We don't like you now, Phoenix. Add, just add some 500 millisecond pauses between each. Remember P.500 tab, you can do that. Pretty simple. <coughs> so now if we preview it, we can see this. However, it's a bit confronting with Gumshoes staring into our soul. But anyway, we need to fix some bugs. First, the text should be blue. Second, we need an evidence picture to pop up. Third, we need the evidence sound effect. Yay. Yeah, so. Select the text, make it blue. Click at the very start and click on the volume icon. This is how we add sound effects. So search for evidence, you can click preview to test it, and then add it in. Now we just need the evidence pop up. How do we do that? Click on the comment looking icon right there. Make sure your cursor is at the very front of the text box. That evidence menu is just if you made it before, which you probably haven't. <coughs> it uses a different system to the court record. So just here, give it any name. The name will not be shown. And just paste in the icon image URL again. And select the icon, that's important. If you, I'll show you what happens if you don't select it. Now just make that and click insert tag. If you didn't make it, you need to put a lowercase i right here. Right there, where it's highlighted. That is very important to make sure you get that right. <coughs> because otherwise it'll look like that. And that's not quite the effect that we're looking for. <laughs> All that's left is to add another frame. Click here and click hide tag. Just so it will actually hide afterwards. Alright. From any time in our game, we can open up the court record, unless you're talking to a character. That's because you can click present to just view it anyway. But like in any of these frames, you can actually click on the court record. I'm too confused right here. So I'm like, yeah. There we go, we examine it. As you see, there's a courtroom option. You can then select it. You can select it, yay, and you'll see our wine bottle's there, but it's hidden, because we never showed it. <gasps> because we're previewing it, it will even show us hidden evidence, it'll show us all the evidence. There's also a check and profiles button, self-explanatory. We're going to add a case action, toggle evidence visibility, just to show our wine bottle in there. <coughs> and we'll also look at profiles quickly. 
you don't really need to get an image for this because you can click choose and select any character you want down here. Like gumshoe and just write gumshoe description. What else do you need in life? Not much. Some case actions do include presenting evidence, but we'll save that for the next episode, which will be for courtrooms. That will be a really exciting episode. It'll probably have a lot of the features that you guys will want from this series. Um, it's going to come out very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.